Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video, we are going to learn one more latest component from Material UI that is called Data Grid. This Data Grid can be used as multiple ways. Like if we have a custom data, we can display. If we have a data set, then we can also display data set in Data Grid. So how we can use this that we are going to learn here. You see that if you see material UI then it's have the three version. First we have the commercial version free version that we called X that we called X data grid. We have a professional version also that we have X data grid pro and we have a premium version also. Pro and premium both are paid version and for testing purpose we have a data grid version that is free. So we have to install this library first of all. So how we can install? We have a npm, then npm x data grid. So we can install it. For that, I just create a new command prompt here. And I go to the library here where I'm creating a project. Then I say npm install. And we say mui at the rate mui x data grid. So it will install just will take one to two minutes now it is installed now I try to use this for that I just take here my snippets for designing and taking typography so just I import here and I say typography MUI data grid example save this and you will see that output here we have this kind of output then I will try to use this now what I do first of all I take a constant of column or we can say field that I want to take here so this field I want to take here like that so first of all I say field it is fixed and I give name here uh, you can say F name and here I say header name and I say header name is first name then I say the width of this would be 150 pixel now I take multiple copy of this so here I say that is SID first one and I say student ID like that width is same then we have a first name F name then I have a L name means last name. So I say last name. So as a field, it will display first name and last name, but actual name of field would be F name and L. Name. Now I say comma also here. I just save this. So my field is ready. Now I take one more constant that is row means data for this grid. So I say rows that is also array. In this array, I have this and I say uh, SID, SID is 1, then I say F name, F name is, I say Dr. Weapon Classes, then so, uh, we have Dr. Weapon and at the last name I take L name, I take Classes. Now I make copy of this. 3 4 copy then I say ID number 2 ID number 3 ID number 4 here I can change the name I say Sachin I say Kumar I say Dr. Vipin Tevatiya I say here Dr. Ankit Varma so we have certain name we can take any name whatever you want just as a dummy data so we have a field here we have this we may in this uh, uh, in this example as a demo I take only three fields but you may take more field if you require now I want to use this grid so I take here box layout first of all and in this box layout I say the M means margin is 2 and here I say uh, data grid like this and I import this data grid here so I say import we have a data grid 
from at the rate MUI then we have X data grid like this save this and in this data grid I have to pass rows and column so I say rows equal to rows and column equal to filled like this and save it done now you see the output so we have uh, some error so I check this error also why we have error we have console so error is okay we have to give uh, ID also so what is the problem so problem is here I need to provide ID also so I say ID equal to 1 then I say ID equal to 2 like this then I say ID equal to 3 like this I say ID is 4 save this because we have to provide the identification indivisible rows then you see we have this information now we have to provide the some style also for with for display purpose so I say here sx equal to I say uh, the height of this should be 100 vh so I take 100 vh of height like this then I say width 600 and I save this now we try to see data uh, vh is not supported so I have to give proper height so I say uh, height spelling is mistake so h e i g s t height now you see we are 100 vh means full width we are give, providing here like this so I can uh, give less also so I can give the height is 400 only save this you see we have a 400 now we have you see this grid information four record we have only and we have so many properties here but we are trying to see one by one first of all I want to display it into the center so for displaying it into the center what I do I say MX auto you see we have in center so you can see uh, in, in data grid we have so many things like this we have here short by ascending order so automatically it will short and we can short like this uh, like this from this third value ascending order so it will short data automatically it can short by descending order like this and it can filter also you whatever you want like this you can filter what you want the last name contain only Kumar so you see that only Kumar one field is there so you can remove this filter okay now you can show all the columns which column you want to show you can hide the column you can show the column whatever you want and we can remove this filter so all data will come here then we can also hide the information which you want to hide so so unshort you can do unshorting also the normal which we have the default order you see that each and everything we have here it's very very simple to use this data grid now this is my custom data that i am displaying here and uh, we can provide uh, uh, here the default data means we have a data set and that we can provide data set information here for dummy purpose we can say some data set for example i have an inbuilt data set for that i have to install it so i say here for installation npm then i npm i then i say here at the rate mui then x data then grid then generator i have to install this so this library will install dummy data it will take a little bit of time now it is installed so i just remove this here now i try to import data set also so i say import and here i say use demo data from 
at the rate m u i x data grid generator like this save this now i create data set so i say const i say data equal to use demo data here uh, u is small use demo data and here i say use demo data and here in this function i need to provide this object here i say data set equal to and in this data set i have two data set com commodity and employee so first i take commodity uh, then i take here row length number of row i want to display then have a max column so number of column i want i say six column i want to display save this so we have initializer okay we have to put here colon uh, now what i do uh, i use this data so for that i take one more box here paste here but now i will remove this and i say data equal to here i pass dot 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 data save this and you will see that data grid will display here so we have down here so first one is a default now second one with data grid you see and uh, i just increase the width to 100 percent or you can say 90 percent like this save this now you see length is increased and we have six column here and you see that we maximum 10 record we can display for that we have this scroll bar also and per page we have 100 record at a time so we can increase the length like we have 100 here so i can increase this with the help of this property i can say i need 100 record save this so you see we have this dummy data i just refresh it you see we have so much of data here and here i can control that only 25 record will display now i can go to next record like this you see all the data is just like from the data grid and all the property which we have applied there we can apply it here also you see all, of, all we have this is a one data we have a second data also employ just we have to give the name automatically all the property and data will change now we'll have we have employee data you see we have this employee data in this data we have a avatar also we have a rating also so all the component we can display here like this we have mail id also you see we have a website also so like this we have the multiple record you see so it's a very very useful component for showing your information in a tabular form and by default we can apply all the property those are giving shorting filtering hiding showing ascending descending so all the properties we can also apply on this data it's a very very useful but more future if you want if you want to delete some row you want to add some row dynamically then you have to purchase the premium and pro version that have more features but in commercial or the free version we have these kind of features by two ways we can use we can use over custom data we can use data set also so here we have a data set which have employee and commodity if you have more data set you can have that library also you can install your data set you can take your data set in this format and just pass here it will show your data set also i think i tried to give complete information of data grid if you understand it please like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching this video